Hi, I just uh, I just realized that the presentation dissertation I just made is not com would not be complete if I didn't if I don't add if I didn't add uh, this explanation because I uh, something else which is I, I realized that is because I realized that a lot of people will uh, think of the the emergence of individualism and um, be thinking about the reasons it became uh, praised and uh, reasonably uh, uh, part of intellectual society. Um, and I left that out. You could probably con you could probably deduce this on your own by just by listening to the the substance of everything I said before, but I'll just, you know, bring some closure to with uh, answering that question. Individualism, individual rights, to be more specific, uh, occurs for the legitimate reason that, for example, people wanted to uh, be free to plant whatever in their yard, and it wasn't what the society allowed them to do, or it was seen as a uh, something not acceptable, um, and every, you know this. This explains why it applied to the appearance, the emergence of feminism, and, and other things, um, and the ideology of your your personal freedoms and freedom of self expression. All comes from a reaction to a highly uh, militant, not militantly, but strongly structured, collected, collectivized uh, society. In other words, before the ideas of individualism, individualism broke through, we uh, went too far in our proper uh, natural tendency to understand and to be bond, to be uh, to to be uh, co coalesced or, uh, as a society. In other words, you understood what parents were supposed to be for their kids or how citizens were supposed to behave socially and civilly in society and uh, what a culture should be about. And it became, by natural forces, very much uniform and uniform. Uh, you know, in, in a society. And so as we became more creative and another burst of, of uh, invention and, 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 and devices, uh, you know, uh, um, how can I say this? gadgetries of ingenuity, because as it happened before, it started making us more uh, proliferous and busy and capable of expressing different things and doing different things with our intelligence, we started running into situations where we just, we want to try doing this. We want to, I want to try painting my house, you know, purple. And all of a sudden, all the people that say, oh, purple, you know, or, or a man doing that, what? Or a woman doing this or that? Or how, how do you allow your children to sit at the table with the grown-ups, you know? Um, started becoming uh, old, uh, was not seen as something the society naturally needs to maintain the collective strong and integral, even though it started becoming excessive as we became more, how can I say this, Dextra, dexterous with our inventiveness and ingenuity and, and, and creativeness. Uh, and more artifacts started busying our, and freeing up time also for us to become more creatively expressive and divergent in our uh, activities uh, with these new instruments. And so all of a sudden what was holding society together became constraining and old. And so, uh, and, 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 and then violent and hostile because they, they want, you want to pressure people with natural force to not, not disaggregate society, not break us apart, uh, which is a primary force, but it was so strong, it is so rightfully strong that 
before this new push to, that brought uh, di divergence and diversity, it became a little too hostile and violent and imposing and judgmental. And so rises individualism. Now I forgot why I needed to say that. Oh, well, yeah, so it's understandable why it rises. The problem is that it never understood the, the complete picture. And it started installing uh, the idea of individuals, individual rights as the prime directive, like they say in Star Trek, as something that is what will order society, which brings all the problems and disintegration that uh, I, I just spent an hour and a half <laughs> dissertating about. Um, so the balance is because our brain is a fusion combination of two forces, the primary one, which is a collective maintaining the living form integral uh, with a, a push to the individual that is responsible for helping the collective survive and making the needed changes or sacrifices so that uh, it can make a, a step, a decisive step in whatever direction it needs to as a collective. And it's also part of um, where we find those initiatives that will break out to a new species, a new language, you know, a small group, the spearhead, the individual, that also will start living in a different valley and start speaking a new language or becoming a, a a, a different species, you know, start uh, Darwinian, <laughs> start ga Galapagosing out, you know, and become a different life form. Um, so, but you can't separate this, and we should have never, we should never separate these two. We have to always understand the relationship between the individual uh, part of the human brain, the collective human brain, the individual part in it, and the collective purpose and intelligence of it as well. Uh, these need to be joined in how humanity sees itself before the creation of its civilization. And so that explains, uh, that's my response to those of you who are saying, wow, individualism, you know, is important for these reasons and da da da. da. Okay, I hope I, I hope I was clear, but I'm just going to add this to the comment uh, below below the stream I just made. Ciao.